Okay, we're beginning section 19.2, uh, Earth's magnetic field. Here we go. Uh, we say a bar magnet has north and south poles, but it's more accurate to say it has a north seeking, a north seeking pole and a south seeking pole. In other words, if a bar magnet is used as a compass, one end will seek or point to the geographic north pole or the geographic north pole of Earth, and the other end will seek or point to the geographic south pole of Earth. From this, we can conclude that the geographic north pole of Earth corresponds to a, man, a magnetic south pole, and the geographic south pole of Earth corresponds to a magnetic north pole. In fact, the configuration of Earth's magnetic field pictured here resembles what we could observe if a huge bar magnet were buried deep in the Earth's interior. If you think about it, you, you, like the North Pole goes to the opposite side, so it's going to be attracted to the uh, a South uh, a South Pole. Now everybody thinks that there's a North magnetic pole at the top of the Earth, but it's not. It's really a magnetic South Pole. Uh, kind of weird. Okay. Um, if a compass needle is allowed to rotate in the vertical and horizontal planes. The needle is horizontal with respect to Earth's surface only near the equator. Further north, the needle rotates so that it points more and more toward the surface of the Earth. In other words, it points more and more downward. The angle between the directions of the magnetic field and the horizontal is called the dip angle. At a point just north of Hudson Bay in Canada, the north pole of the needle points directly downward with a dip angle of 90 degrees. That site, first found in 1832, is considered to be the location of the South Magnetic Pole of Earth. It is approximately 1,300 miles from Earth's geographic North Pole and varies with time. Earth's magnetic, magnetic North Pole is about 1,200 miles from its geographic South Pole. This means that compass, compass needles point only approximately north. The difference between two, true north defined as the geographic north pole and north indicated by a compass varies from place to place. The difference is referred to as magnetic declination. For example, along a line through South Carolina and the Great Lakes, a compass indicates true north, whereas in Washington state, it aligns 25 degrees east of true north, as you can see in the figure. It's more likely that the true source of Earth's magnetic field is electric current in the liquid part of its core. This current, which is not well understood, may be driven by an interaction between the planet's rotation and convection in the hot liquid core. There is some evidence that the strength of a planet's magnetic field is related to the planet's rate of rotation. For example, example Jupiter rotates faster than Earth, and recent space probes indicate that Jupiter's magnetic field is stronger than Earth's, even though Jupiter lacks an iron core. Venus, on the other hand, rotates more slowly than Earth, and its magnetic field is weaker. Scientists are continuing to investigate the, Earth, the cause of Earth's magnetism. The direction of Earth's magnetic field reverses every few million years. The evidence for this phenomena is from, a, is from an iron-containing rock, basalt, that is sometimes spewed forth by volcanic activity on the ocean floor. As the, lava, as the lava cools, it solidifies and retains a picture of the direction of Earth's magnetic field. When the basalt deposits are dated, they provide evidence for, a, for periodic reversals of the magnetic field. The cause of these field reversals is still not understood. Um, just a little aside, because I used to work in the space research program, the magnet, Earth's magnetic field uh, does provide pre, uh, a lot of protection from the uh, uh, energetic particles that come from the sun. The energetic particles actually push on our magnetic field and um, uh, they, the, the, element, the, the particles ride along the magnetic fields and give us our aurora borealis and our aurora australis. Um, if you've ever seen one, you're lucky. I hope to see, uh, see aurora uh, sometime in the future. Um, Okay, scientists speculate that some animals, such as birds, use the magnetic field of Earth to guide their migrations. Not only birds, I mean, even turtles. Turtles uh, use them, and lots of animals use magnetic uh, 
magnetic navigation uh, to, for migration. Studies have shown that a type of anaerobic uh, bacterium that lives in swamps has a magnetized chain of mag magnetite as part of its internal structure. The term anaerobic means that these bacteria live and grow without oxygen. In fact, oxygen is toxic to them. The magnetized chain acts as a compass needle that enables the bacteria to align with Earth's magnetic field. When they find themselves out of the mud on the bottom of the swamp, they return to their oxygen-free environment by following the magnetic field lines of Earth. Interestingly, bacteria found in the Northern Hemisphere have internal magnetite chains that are opposite in polarity to those of similar bacteria in the Southern Hemisphere. In 2001, a meteorite containing a meteorite originating on Mars has been found to contain a chain of magnetite. NASA scientists believe it may be a fossil of ancient Martian bacterial life. The magnetic, magnetic field of Earth is also used to label runways at airports according to their direction. A large number is painted on the end of the runway so that it can be read by the pilot of an incoming airplane. This number describes the direction in which the airplane is traveling, expressed as the magnetic heading in degrees measured clockwise from magnetic north divided by 10. A runway, a runway marked nine would be directed toward the east, 90 degrees divided by 10, whereas a runway marked, one, marked 18 would be directed toward magnetic south, in other words, 180. Uh, this, ends our, this ends this section on Earth's magnetic field. The next section is section 19.3, magnetic fields.